Hi, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to be talking about Google Forms and how to disable the submit another response message on Google Forms. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. So the default for Google Forms when you create a new form is when you get come to the uh, success page or you know after you finish submitting the data, it says submit another response. And obviously, whether it's a quiz or something like this, like a, some sort of customer survey, you don't want people to submit another response a lot of the time because that will really mess up the results or maybe you're not sure, like if it's a quiz, which is the one that they wanted to submit. So here's how to disable it in most cases. Go to the form in Google Forms. This is the editing mode for the form. Click on settings and then you'll see one of the options here is responses. Click on the drop down arrow there's a whole bunch of different responses here, but then there's one that says limit to one response. You have to toggle that on. There is a very important exception to this, and it requires sign in, meaning the person who uses the form has to sign in to Google in order to be restricted to just one response. And the reason is, if Google did, didn't do this, you could basically you know, answer the quiz or answer the survey on one computer then switch to your phone or switch to another device or switch to another browser or switch to a VPN and then do it all over again. And you could submit multiple responses and Google can't, it would, there'd be no way for Google to restrict that. So by doing this, you're forcing people to use, uh, use their Google accounts to use the particular form. And that may cause conflicts because not everybody has Google accounts, but I just wanted to put that out there, something you should know, but this is the toggle that you need to use to restrict it to just one response if the person is logged in to Google. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Also, if you go to in30minutes.com, you can see the book that I published, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, as well as the cheat sheets we have for different types of apps, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Google Slides, etc. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time.